What is going on fellow legends, so it is finally here. Apex has finally released solo mode into the game, but only for a limited time of two weeks. Now Apex says that there's still no word on whether they'll keep it or not, but I guess that'll all just depend on the community's feedback. Now me personally, I absolutely love it. So with this new update, a lot has changed. In solo mode, you will still start out with 60 players in a match. No teams, of course, just all solo. Now, one thing that I did notice immediately is the faster loading time. Now, since it's only you in the lobby, you don't have to wait for your teammates to pick their players too, which in return just makes it faster to get right into the gameplay. Also, without teammates, you get to pick whatever character you want every time, without the risk of somebody stealing it first. And if you're anything like me and you play with a lot of random players, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And without teammates, there's obviously no need for revives. But don't worry, there are still self-revives. So if you down an opponent and they're still not dead yet, you do want to make sure that you finish off your opponent because they will be back for revenge. Another thing to keep an eye on in solo mode is campers. Now if you thought camping was bad before, brace yourselves. This game mode will increase the number of campers, however, the ring does start out much smaller in solo mode, so camping is only temporary. And if it bothers you that much, you can just use Bloodhound's ability to spot those pesky campers through the walls and end them quickly. One of the main changes with this introduction of solo mode is a new addition to the map called Octane Town Takeover. To me, it kind of reminds me of like a skate park. Uh, but it has jump pads and a ring of fire that you can launch yourself through. It's pretty dang cool. But it's super fun to play on, but if you are one of those players that doesn't like jumping into the hot zone, it may not be the place for you, at least while this addition is still new. Another addition Apex added is the special Iron Crown Collection Pack. Apex Legends Collection events bring a set of themed limited time content to King's Canyon. Now you can open these Iron Crown Collection Packs for a 50% shot at an Epic item and a 50% shot at a Legendary item from a set of 24 themed items. Now the Iron Crown Collection event also introduces crowns, which is a new event currency, which can be earned from challenges and received from Iron Crown Collection Packs. Crowns can be spent in the new limited time event store to unlock limited rare, epic, and legendary content. Now during the event, if you unlock all 24 Iron Crown Collection Pack items, you'll be able to get Bloodhound's Heirloom Set with Apex Coins. The Bloodhound Heirloom Set will enter the standard Apex Pack bonus pool after the Iron Crown Preview event ends. Now don't worry, any unspent crowns will automatically convert to crafting materials at the end of the event. All Iron Crown Collection Packs and Iron Crown Store content are event limited only. And one of my favorite parts of this update is what happens after you die. Now we all know those people who get all ticked off whenever they die. Oh my god, I hit him for like 4,000 damage. Rawr, 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 rawr. I can't believe he's not dead. He must be a hacker. Well, this kind of takes care of all of that because once you die, it shows exactly how you died, how many hits it took, how much damage you dealt, how much damage he dealt. It tells you everything so there's no confusion. I think that is brilliant by Apex and I absolutely love it. Now it's no secret that Apex is always looking for new ways to weave their Legends personalities into the map and kind of make it fun. Uh, so this Octane Town Takeover change will remain part of King's Canyon even after this event ends, which I personally think is pretty cool. And Apex did actually go on the record and say that if the community enjoys these types of town takeovers, that they'll be looking at adding more for other legends in the future. So if you do end up liking these, make sure that you let them know. And lastly, Apex will be adding a double XP weekend for getting in the top 5 and or coming in first place. This will last from 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 16th through 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 19th. Players will earn double XP for the top 5 finishes and wins. This bonus will affect both account level and battle pass progression. Now for any additional details or if I happen to have missed something uh, on the Iron Crown Collection event, uh, make sure that you head over and check it out yourself. I'll be leaving a link in the description. 
As always, if you like this video or learned something new today, feel free to smash that like button and give us a quick follow to keep up to date. Until next time, happy gaming guys.